Now look, I know it's been a big week for everybody and we've got a lot to do. So if we can get through today well, we'll get to leave early, all right? So look, today we're gonna to be looking at behaviorism, which was um, invented, created, developed by Skinner with his experiments on pigeons and other animals. Now, basically, I'm gonna to say to you, we're gonna be looking at a number of different things today. You're probably gonna hear me waffle on a little bit. It's probably gonna be a little bit teacher-centered, but that's just the way it is for the first half of today, all right? So look, let me just tell you a little bit about my experience. When I was a PE teacher, we used behaviorism often as it has many aspects that we can use for discipline in the classroom setting. Now, the four key aspects of behaviorism that we're gonna be looking at today. Um, can anyone give me an example of one of the four key aspects from your readings? Um, positive reinforcement. Excellent, positive reinforcement. And can you give me an example of that, please? Um, oh, the last classroom I was in had like a token economy where the kids were all divided into groups and um, the groups were awarded marbles and the winning group would get to, well, all the, the kids in that group would get to go and choose a prize out of a treasure chest at the end. So it was this big, exciting competition and they're all kind of you know, focused. Excellent. Nice one. Excellent example. Andrew, Excellent. if you can't pay attention, I'm going to ask you to leave the class. Yep. All right? Yeah, okay. Just pay attention, no more disruption, right? Good one. Okay. Excellent. You've obviously done your reading. Thank you, Bill. Now, listen, uh, who can give me some other aspects that we've got? We've got positive reinforcement. I mean, I'll be honest with you, all right? This can all seem like a bit of waffle, but if I wasn't representing the university, okay, all right, um, we, you know, I, I would tell you that there are a lot more criticisms to do with behaviorism, all right? But I am here, we've got to do it, that's just the way it is. So, look, we've got positive reinforcement, what's the other one? We've got a corresponding one, negative reinforcement. Susie, can you give me an example of negative reinforcement? Um, I get a little bit confused with negative reinforcement, so not really no. Alright, well, that's why we're going to have to discuss it. Robin? Yeah? Example of negative reinforcement, please. Um... Um, like when Phil in PE um, yelled at me and said, Do you mind? And made me embarrassed in front of the whole class. Okay. I think that's more like punishment. It's I think that's like punishment. I think that's where people can get confused. And I think that's punishment. Uh, you know, punishment is um, certainly to be deterrent, but it's not necessarily negative reinforcement. Can a negative reinforcement, right? is like we learn, we are all used, we are all manipulated by behaviors. When we're driving a car, we don't speed so fast because we know we're gonna get a fine. If we work well today, we won't get any homework tonight. So we don't have to do our reading. Depends if we work well. Some of us are, some of us aren't. Right, <sighs> um, and there's two other aspects. We've got punishment, which is quite controversial because it could be the, the teacher can be hostile and it really depends on the interpretation of how the student receives it as to whether it's gonna work or not. And then we've also got um, um, extinction as well, okay? So um, extinction is avoiding the behavior that you don't want to happen in the classroom, ignoring it and hoping that it will go away so it's not to feed it by giving it attention. Um, Andrew? Andrew, I'm sorry, I've asked you once, I want you to leave now. Go on, why? I've asked you once, <laughs> I want you to leave, uh, think about what you've been doing, and you can come back when you're ready. Right, well, Off you go. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> now use this clip to develop an individual behavioural management plan for Andrew.